How to make your TV sound really big. Okay, you just bought a really great home theater system. It's from Pioneer and it's very cool. But now you start looking at the box and you start to think back on your not so technical background and then it comes. What in the world am I doing? All I wanted was for my TV to play through my speakers. It sounded like a good idea and I like the idea about the movies and guy likes surround sound, but hold on. Back up. First of all, you made a great decision because the people at Pioneer practically invented the whole concept of home theater. And secondly, even though your TV is only this big, the stuff they've put together in that box is going to make it sound like it's this big. Okay, if your TV's already that big, trust me, it's gonna sound bigger. A lot bigger. Like you are there bigger. But in order to get there, I'm going to show you how to get started with your new system. How to lay everything out and how to connect it. Then after I've gone through it, you can turn off the videotape and use the how to make your TV sound really big guide and you can take as much time as you'd like. Ah, one more thing. No tools. These are all you'll need. Here's what you should have. An AM FM receiver, one, two speakers for the front of the room, one, two speakers for the rear of the room, another speaker that looks like this. It's wider. It's for the middle of the system right by the TV. It's called the center channel speaker. And a subwoofer. That's the one with the big hole in it. It's for the bass sounds, and it can go just about anywhere in the front of the room. Inside each, you'll find the wire that you need to connect that piece to the system and a big bag where you found the videotape you're watching right now. The guide and all the things you'll need to connect the system. If any of these items are missing, call the store where you bought your home theater system and they should be able to help. Or you can call 1-800-PIONEER and we'll help you get back on track. Okay, the whole idea of home theater is to make your living room or whatever room you're in feel like a movie theater. And of course, to make your TV sound really big. That's why the speakers are placed all around you. That's why there are more than two, because this is going to be a really great theater. Before we begin to connect to the system, though, we're going to lay everything out and get an idea of what your home theater is going to look like. So the first consideration is this. Decide where you're going to sit. That will help us lay everything out and determine the left and the right sides of the room. Let's say I'm going to sit right here. The TV, the VCR, and the receiver should be in front of you. They connect to each other and control the whole system. The TV and the VCR are probably already there, so put the receiver there too. The four speakers should go in each corner of your listening area. And if possible, it's good to use a speaker stand or a small table just to get them up off the floor. Some people like to put them on the wall, somewhere around ear level when you're sitting. This way everything sounds better, more like the real theater stuff. The center channel speaker is where you'll hear all the dialogue from the actors on the screen, so you'll want it right by the TV. Finally, this guy, Mr. Subwoofer. He should be in the front of the listening area and off to the side a little. But this guy should sit right on the floor. Now your home theater system is laid out and should look pretty much like this. Now it's time to connect. Make sure all the power to your components is turned off before you begin making any connections. Let's start with the cable that came in the box with your receiver. It plugs into the left and right audio in on the back of the receiver where it says VCR tape. The other end connects to the left and right audio out jacks of your VCR. Each of the wires for this part are already color coded and in pairs. Always use the color coded side for the plus or positive connection and the uncolored side for the minus or negative connection. Start by finding the dark blue coated pair of wires. Then find the area on the back of the receiver labeled front speakers. Use the top set of terminals or the A terminals. Plug the dark blue wire into the positive terminal and the other wire into the negative terminal. Make sure you insert as much of the uncovered part of the wire as possible into the terminal. Now find the red coated pair of wires and repeat the same procedure for the positive and negative for the right front speaker. Find the area on the back of the subwoofer labeled input and insert the dark blue coated wire into the front left plus terminal. 
Connect the other wire in that pair to the appropriate minus terminal. Now repeat the process using the red coated wire. Time for a new set of wires, light blue and pink. Use the light blue wire pair to connect the subwoofer plus and minus to the front left speaker plus and minus. Use the pink wire pair to go from the subwoofer to the right front speaker. Okay, we just finished the hardest part of the whole system. Everything else from here simply connects the positive to positive and negative to negative for each of the remaining speakers. Use the green and orange wire pairs to connect the two rear speakers to the back of the receiver where it's labeled rear speakers. Green for the left rear speaker and orange for the right rear. One more speaker, the center channel speaker. Find the yellow wire pair, connect the two ends to the back of the receiver where it says center channel speaker, and connect the other end to the speaker itself. Now the FM antenna for a little late night listening, that goes here, and that's it. That's it, like let's move on to the next 25 connections, that's it. No, that's it, like that's it. We're done, finissimo, kaput. No more connections, just a little test. In the manual that came with your receiver, there are two sections that talk about the surround effects of the speakers. The first section just kind of explains what the terms mean, and the second section, surround level adjustment, tells you how to turn the receiver on, test all the speakers to make sure that they're working and that they're playing at the proper volume. And there's tons of other stuff in here, like how to operate all the functions, how to hook up more components, CD players, and all that stuff. But now, step by step, the how to make your TV sound really big guide will help you make each connection. And remember, if you have any questions or you get to the point where you're going, what in the world am I doing? Call us up at 1-800-PIONEER and we'll help. Trust me, the system's gonna be great because Pioneer Home Theater Systems were never designed to be difficult. They're designed to be enjoyed.